Hey gang, Sparky with electricalindustrynetwork.com. Today I want to show you a uh, repair that we're going to be doing here in the future. I got to order uh, a panel interior for this first, but um, it's it, apparently from a loose connection over the years, at one point in time. You can see right here on the A phase, it's been uh, uh, heated up quite well. You can see the discoloration in that wiring and even in that lug and we have um, somebody had wrapped this with 10 mil tape so this has happened a couple times right down here you can see where it's got heated up and it's actually um, burnt into some of the strands of that uh, 350 MCM just another top view of it here and then there's your lug you can tell it's been heated and uh, discolored. As a matter of fact, they uh, took out the bottom three phases here. And uh, as far as the plug on breakers where they went, they just pulled those out. And just another photo of the, the split down there where the uh, wires are coming apart. Now we've got the three phases neutral and ground in here. The C phase actually has a little bit of um, uh, overheating on it as well. But there's a three inch conduit back in here and this this run is is over 200 feet long back to the main service so there's you know and it was installed in the 70s so the chances of us being able to uh, re-pull that all the way back there slim to none. So what our plan is. Um, here's the service, the feeders come into it and then like I said the service is well over 200 feet uh, away from where we're working at. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to uh, find the conduit. We'll uh, get out a locator and then we'll have to dig it up, install an underground pull box, put in a couple 90s and we'll have to cut this back and uh, be able to get enough wiring out of here in order to do a inline splice, weatherproof inline splice. And then we'll just install a new 90 onto this conduit going up into there. And we'll do the splice in there and most likely the chances of us finding some 350 MCM this short of a distance, um, you know, 40, 50 feet of it, uh, it's going to be slim to none. Uh, maybe we can find it, I don't know. But uh, our plan is that we'll just uh, use the copper to aluminum style lugs and then we can go ahead and just re-pull new coppers in here. The, um, the fusing back at the service itself is at 250. So we'll pull in accordingly to, the, um, to match that panel board that's inside there. So just another look at this. Um, it's just another one of those projects that uh, came about and we need to get it fixed and get it taken care of. The challenge in this is going to be that uh, it is an occupied building. People live in these, um, these units. So somebody's going to be without power for a while. There is no chance of uh, doing any kind of generator or something like that. So there's just going to be a power outage for a day. So we'll grab some people and uh, we'll get it all put together and get it done and get them back up and running. When I get the uh, the interior in and get a good game plan on what's happening, um, I'll do some more pictures and, and give you an update on it. But in the meantime, appreciate you watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe and uh, check out my website, electricalindustrynetwork.com. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.